Welcome back. I wanted to make a short video on, you know, it was bound to happen. There's, there's an issue. I feel there's an issue with this jib. Um, it does not seat in there nice and flush with the dove, the face of the dovetail. Um, now I know you can buy jib stock and cut your own piece and, you know, I could fix that, I believe myself. But I wanted to, as part of the series, the reviews are about Vivor, their support. You know, what do you get? That's the idea. You know, I was having trouble finding a lot of information prior to purchasing this. There's there's videos and, and there's information out there about these lathes, but not not very in depth. You know, you don't know what you get when you're buying it. Just just kind of rough rough ideas from people. So this, this entire series is, is really my journey through this lathe for the good, the bad, all of it. So I wanted to bring, um, I wanted to, to reach out to them, give them a chance to make it right and see what, what they will do, what they're willing to do. I mean, again, the, this is, this is an overseas company. Uh, obviously there's no affiliation with me. I'm just a guy that bought one, took a chance, um, wanting to get, something cheap to get started with this hobby. But I don't like that. Uh, I've tried and tried and tried to, to adjust this, to make this slide smooth. And it just, it, it just doesn't, I cannot rotate that now. Of course I got it all loosened up so I could show you, but I, I you know, I, I can't just get this thing going. Now part of it is because these do not swivel like these other handles. So someday I may change that out, but but more importantly, it just kind of binds up. And I'll show you show you why. I mean, first off, it rides on the top edge. Now, I will I reached out to them and they reached out to their manufacturer or their supplier, I guess they said. And they said it's it's perfectly fine. It operates just fine. It's perfectly normal. Well, that is not normal. I don't they were very persistent to say that's normal. However, they before we before I pull that out and show you what's really wrong, I need to state that they responded every night. You know, they're overseas, like 2 a.m. I'd get a response, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. They would respond to every single inquiry that I made through Amazon. I bought this through Amazon, used the Amazon uh, support uh, messaging, and every, every night, every day, they replied. In the end, they were willing to refund a portion of the lathe so that I could get it fixed or fix it myself, or they would have sent me a new jib. Now, I personally feel that these jibs need to be machined. Let me grab, let's take this out. I need, these jibs need to be machined per slide um, because none of these holes are ever gonna be the same you know, they're not going to line up machine to machine. This is not 100% precision between, I mean, come on, it's a Vivor lathe, right? So I figured if they sent a jib, I'm going to end up with much the same issue where it's just not aligned. I'll show you why many of you, I'm new to this, but for those that don't know that want to get into this, this is, let me get that. It's too big. Let's get this out of here. I want to show you the, the jib itself and why it's happening. So, come on. We'll get this out of there. But again, no matter what I do, back and forth, trying to get this, this jib lined up, it, I just can't get it to line up. I'm trying to get that to slide out of there. Let's get this in a little bit. Well, sorry for wasting your time here, but we'll get this thing. Okay, let's pull this out of here and I'll show you what the problem is. 
number one, sorry, these don't line up. The dimples that they put into, into that jib, they, you know, you line one of them up, they don't line up with the actual screws. Um, and as you can see, I'm chewing up the top edge, just trying to get that thing to seat properly. See the, the marks on the top edge. They really need to seat down in the dimples. And furthermore, I believe these dimples are too low, causing it to push when you screw these in and they do catch the dimples, it pushes this up and onto, let me twist this. It causes it to, with the, the dimples being low, instead of it, if, the, if they were higher, they would seat properly and push this down into the dovetail and it would then seat like it's supposed to seat. Let's push that in there, see? That's how it's supposed to ride. But instead, it kicks low on the dimple, shoves it up, and it ends up riding like that. So over time, I think that's gonna wear out this top edge of the dovetail. And I don't, you know, I wanna get this fixed, you know. So now that you know what the issue is, I decided, okay, you know, I could buy a piece and, and re-drill it and fix it myself. but. I bought this thing new, you know, why not? Let's give them a chance to make it right. Um, and as I stated before, they responded. Yeah, this is, uh, there's a lot of, if you do any reading and reviews, there's a lot of complaints about the support and nobody will, you know, things going out and they don't respond and you can't get them to do anything. Well, that hasn't been my experience. Your experience may be different, but it, this is my personal experience as it go, as I use and go through um, playing around with this lathe, they responded and they agreed to refund uh, a portion of the original cost of the lathe so that I can repair it. And I, I am perfectly fine with the, the resolution that they came up with, that, that we did, the amount that they, we agreed on. Um, there's no need to mention it because it's, it's not significant really. And, you know, it's more than it would have cost me to buy a jib piece, but I also need to fix it myself. So, um, that's where we are with that. So I, I can't say that, I can't honestly say anything negative about the company. Now it's, it's kind of interesting on Amazon. There's several vendors of these things, right? Vivor, the, the people responding was from now pay attention to this. This is really interesting. The response was from Boberan. And if you do any reading on these things, there's several companies. Boberan is one of them. I didn't think Boberan and Vivor were the same, but that is who apparently sold this Vivor lathe from the Vivor store. So Boberan has been the company replying back to my support request. Interesting, there's two signatures in the in the uh, replies. One of them is Christina, I doubt that's a real name, and the other, I forget, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but there was another, there's two different signatures that reply. Before I bought this one, I was inquiring about a best equipped branded lathe. Now, the reason I didn't get the best equipped, it actually come, came with like a, uh, some additional accessories, um, uh, Sorry that it escapes me what it is, but if you do any looking on the best equips, they tend to come with the, uh, oh, the support. Darn it, sorry, I don't remember the name of the, of what it is, but it, it's it's to support longer stock. Um, but regardless, they come with a little bit better accessories, but for the same price, the one that I was looking at only had, I wanna say, it, it's less than an inch, three quarter maybe, spindle bore. This one had an inch and a half spindle bore, which is why I chose to go with this Vivor. I mean, you can get larger stock through there. And, you know, if I wanted to turn something like, like this inch and a quarter I, uh, brass, I wouldn't have been able to, if it, if it was longer, let's say. I mean, shorter stuff, of course, you can get as long as it fits into your chuck. But 
The point is, I went with the Vivor. So, where was I going with that? The best equipped, before I bought this one, I had a couple inquiries to them. It was best equipped responding, but it was still the same signature of Christina, the same broken English in the emails, and there was the other person. Both of them were the same. So, I believe that all of these things, or many of these, until you get into the more expensive ones that might be... Uh, sold by, maybe they're resold, but they're probably gone over, like I said, you know, some American company, for instance, they're more than twice the cost. I'm not gonna pay for that. And they're, they're probably built better. But I think most of these are built in the same factory, sold by the same company, and they just slap different stickers and labels on them. It, it's quite interesting when you dig down into it. it it's confusing, you know, it, it really is. but. That's, that's just some information about my experience and, and what I've noticed. I, I don't know for sure, but it sure would be coincidental that two Christinas work for different companies uh, selling mini lathes and responding to support through Amazon. It's kind of kind of strange. However, like I said, in the end, they're refunding a portion of what the original cost so that I can fix this properly. I think what I'm going to do is attempt to use my drill press and just put some, extend the dimples or put them up a little bit higher so that it pushes down and seats properly in that dovetail. If not, I'll buy a, a bar of jib stock, cut it to length, get that piece in there myself and make one that's, that's proper. You know, I'll take these screws out. I'll, I mean, I already know now because of the, the damage to the, well, from the screws, you can see where I've marred them up. I kind of have an idea where to where to drill. But regardless, if I had some new stock, I'd slide it in there and do it right. But I think this, I think that will help being able to get this to slide smoother if it can seat down in there properly. Because if it's riding up there on the edge, it's just it just isn't riding smooth. And that's not how it's supposed to be. They can't, you know, they. It's not that they didn't want to help. They just just wanted to state that it's perfectly fine, which it, it's just not, you know, these are precision. Now they did get this one. It isn't great, but it, it at least rides a little bit more parallel to the, to the dovetail. So that one's, that one's good enough. But if I did buy some new stock, I might actually replace that one too. So it seats lower. I'm not concerned this, this cross slide, uh, it goes back and forth nice and smooth. That, that one I got pretty good. It's just this one. I know I don't. I won't use this as much, but I will. I will need it to go, depending on what I'm cutting and what angles I'm going. So anyway, I just want to provide an update on the Vivor as a whole. This is this is just a review on on their support, the the company I bought it from. Just you know, hopefully this helps somebody out who's looking to buy one of these things. My experience has been that they respond and they address the issue in one of two different ways, which we both agreed on an acceptable solution. So hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, stick it down in the comments. I'll try to, I try to respond to everything and uh, hope to see you on the next video.